Hi everybody, it's Bas here from the Carp Specialist and welcome to the second episode of the Carpy Cast, the week of the 23rd of November. It's a pleasure to, uh, to welcome you again. Many thanks for watching and in this uh, short video we'll walk over the, the news and catches of last week at our carp venues in Europe. Uh, first of all, Loch Ness Carp. Um, I spoke to the owner this week and the season is running to its end. 420 carp were caught uh, last season, 420, sorry I have an <laughs> extra note of course, of which 46 carp weighed over 35 English pounds um, and about 15 carp weighed over 45 pounds and the biggest carp caught was 27 kilos, that's, so that's a nearly 60 English pounder. Um, the owner has ordered another 50 carp ranging from about 26 to 30 English pounds uh, to be stocked this December uh, and uh, he's also ordered a, a ton of pellets so that the fish will be well fed during the winter. Lugnes is, uh, is just on the books for our English website. We've welcomed some Dutch and German clients this year and they've uh, had a great time. It's not an easy venue. It's quite, uh, uh, quite tricky with weeds and a lot of depth features, but it's a beautiful big lake close to Le Mans, which makes it uh, very easily accessible uh, um, by, with, uh, from Calais, from the ferry terminal of Calais. Um, so there's, uh, it's a really interesting venue for English clients to take a look at. Then we go over to some news from Holland, uh, from the Netherlands. We have got Cobra Plus. It's uh, quite known already for UK anglers, um, and uh, it's known for its big fish. There's fish uh, to over uh, 30 kilos, so 66 English pounds at the lake. Uh, but the owners uh, and the um, the guys who are running the lake, Saviel and uh, and his team, they're uh, quite active as well with fish farming. Uh, they've got two stock ponds in the at the estate. And they've been growing very nice fully scaled carp and uh, there and also some ghost carp. They've been uh, netting the lake, uh, the stock ponds, uh, a couple of weeks ago and they selected the 30 most beautiful carp um, to be stocked into uh, into the Cobra Plus itself. So 30 new carp have been added to the Cobra Plus. They're still small fish. I would say they are around well uh, uh, four to five kilos. Uh, but you know the Copa Plus it's very uh, it's got a lot of natural food and of course uh, a lot of pellets are fed there uh, every uh, every week so the fish will grow very quickly so um, if you fancy uh, fishing in the Netherlands then the Copa Plus is a very nice lake to fish it's a deep lake so normally uh, November December time even January can be very good at the Copa Plus um, then we've got Le Taille de Lande in France a very nice uh, lake uh, with two uh, accommodations right next to it. Our Belgium angler uh, friend uh, Gunther fished it uh, last week and he had quite a good uh, trip there and one of the things he uh, caught <laughs> was uh, 22 kilos so that's um, 46, 48 pounds. Uh, mirror carp, I'm showing you the photo now. It's a beautiful fish that he caught there and it was actually quite an unknown fish uh, for us. We've got over 1200 photos of Le Taille de Lande in, uh, uh, on our website and I looked quickly but I couldn't find this fish so it's really a difficult fish to catch but very very beautiful. Um, now we go over to Galois. Etang de Galois, it's, uh, it's a beautiful lake. Uh, it's a little known uh, by, the, uh, by the English, but the English clients we've had so far were all very, very positive. Last week was good. Uh, 90, so sorry, 69 carp were caught, of which 10 over 20 kilos, 2 over 25, and a 30 kilo were, were caught. Um, the biggest catches were a 30 carp exactly at swim one so it's a very good swim at this time of year. Uh, if you want to fancy uh, fishing at Tang de Galois uh, please book well in advance. Uh, 20, 2022 there's still some places left but uh, um, if you like the lake and a lot of anglers do you can already book for 2023 or even 2024 if you want. Um, then we go over to Grand Pré uh, in the Champagne region. A very popular lake with the, the Dutch and the Belgium clients. And the Germans of course. It's, uh, it's close to Vitry le François which makes it a very comfortable drive for us. But also the English like the lake very much. It's a lake for experienced anglers. And we've uh, stocked another 18 carp there for, ranging from 
20 to 35 English pounds. We do it every year with the lake owner, uh, around 20 carp, so that the lake keeps on getting a, a new, uh, a little addition to the to the stock. Um, now over to the next one, uh, Villadon. Uh, we've got our pro line friend. Um, Niels van Voren is uh, fishing for KWO as well, the Dutch carp community. And he's been fishing the cabin this week. The cabin was very, very difficult for fishing over the last uh, period of time. The cabin and the sheet are really struggling to catch some fish. But now we've um, he's, he's managed, he's, he's there since Saturday, he's managed to catch already uh, quite some carp, including some big ones. So there will be a full report as well in the coming weeks when he's back home. But uh, finally, it's great to see that Villadon also their accommodations are catching well. Uh, so that's a short uh, copy cast this time. I like to end uh, the copy cast with a nice video shot by Lisette and Bianca, our colleagues, when they were there um, a couple of weeks ago. And the full video of that trip will be released shortly. It's still in edit, which shows all the catches they had together with their friends. And they really had a great trip. But uh, now I've got a sneak preview with you from some very nice footage from Livergere. Livergere is also close to Le Mans, like uh, Loch Ness Carp, which makes it very convenient drive from the English, and it's got a great, great stock. So it's really, really worthwhile to take a look at. We're very happy to be at your service. Many thanks for watching as well, the Carpy News again, and we hope to see you next week at a new episode. All the best, bye bye.